So the American Medical Association recently classified obesity as a disease, and I think it's a, it's a step forward in the right direction because obesity is often linked to uh, many comorbidities, including uh, cardiovascular disease, physical disability, sleep apnea, um, hyperlipidemia or high cholesterol, and diabetes. The good news is that, you know, we continue as primary care physicians, we continue to care with our, for our patients the way we usually continue to care for them. It's more of a sense that it creates more ample room for better and new improved medication to treat obesity in itself. It, uh, ho hopefully it would allow advancements on bariatric surgery and uh, anti-obesity screening programs. So it's gonna create a greater awareness, not necessarily in our offices and in our you know our patient-to-patient -patient contact, but as a society as a whole. The American Heart Association recommends around 150 minutes of mild to moderate ac aerobic activity a week, uh, and that includes jogging, running, playing golf, swimming. A lot of people consider, you know, exercise just going to the gym, but there's a lot of different things that we could do to exercise. So all of those things and a healthy lifestyle improve our outcomes and decreases our chances of becoming obese.